In case you missed it, Jack Dorsey, the founder of Twitter, Blue Sky, and Square, published an open source project last week, a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer private messaging app called BitChat. I tested it myself and I'm gonna give you my honest opinion later in this video, but first of all, we gotta talk about what exactly is BitChat and how does it differ from other messaging platforms out there? But before we get into it, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on future breakdowns like this one. So what makes BitChat unique? Well, BitChat works as a peer-to-peer -peer offline messaging app, meaning it requires no internet or cell phone service because everything is transmitted via Bluetooth, specifically by using BLE or Bluetooth Low Energy Protocol, which is very energy efficient. Each phone acts both as a sender and relay, creating a network that extends far beyond the Bluetooth individual range. Messages hop from phone to phone until they reach their destination. It's kind of like how AirTags piggyback on other iPhone networks. This also means that there is no central server. Everything runs on a Bluetooth mesh, making it completely decentralized. To ensure security, messages are also encrypted using a Noise XX handshake security protocol. The way this protocol works is by rotating an ephemeral key between the chat users every 5 to 15 minutes, which is supposed to make tracking you almost impossible while keeping your conversations totally private. Now, I would caution to label this app as secure because Dorsey has publicly revealed that this was essentially a weekend project that was vibe coded using Goose, an open source AI assistant developed by his own company, Block. And indeed, moments after publishing the project, Dorsey came under scrutiny from security experts who were able to quickly detect serious flaws in the app's architecture, which in turn prompted Dorsey to add a warning statement on the GitHub repo stating that features have not received external security review and may contain vulnerabilities. That being said, the project is still super popular and security patches are being actively rolled out by external contributors. Plus it's open source so anyone can contribute to the project. Or you can even fork it and create your own version of BitChat with your cool features on top of it. Something to think about. Now, in terms of real world usage, who would actually benefit from an offline messaging platform? Well, there are many cases where such technology might be very useful, specifically in crowded events where cell service is overwhelmed or in other scenarios like in demonstrations or confidential corporate meetings or for journalist source protection. The app is cross-platform compatible. They have separate repos for both iOS and Android projects, which you can easily install on your device by following the platform specific instructions. So I took this app for a test run. I installed it on both iOS and Android devices to see how the app handles cross-platform communication. Interestingly enough, the iOS version of the app is very buggy at its current state. For starters, the iOS app could not detect any messages sent from the Android phone, whereas the Android phone detected the iOS messages instantly and had no issues at all. So I guess the iOS version is still not production ready. Apart from that, honestly, it felt like just using a regular messaging app with this subpar UI design. But I guess the real magic most likely happens under the hood, where the handshake protocol is actively encrypting the messages and rotating the user ephemeral keys. Here's my take on it. Honestly, I think the tech behind it is super cool and interesting. And I do believe this open source project has serious potential once they fix their embarrassing iOS bugs and pass a real security audit. There are many scenarios where individuals and companies might benefit from an offline messaging channel, which is both secure and reliable. But what do you think? Do you think Jack Dorsey's vibe-coded weekend project will take off and become the go-to offline messaging platform? Or will it just remain a forgotten buggy proof of concept? Let us know what you think in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one.